Hello, Reborn family. Welcome back. I'm over here at my desk again. And I finished a bottle and I thought I would come on and show you guys and I got a couple other little things that I got. So I decided to take this big bottle. Now this is the one that I had Winnie the Pooh on it. And I did the acrylic pour method and look how cute this is. I did some spring colors. So there's blue and actually it, there was a, a little purple in there, which was some colors that mixed in. <laughs> but I originally I used yellow, pink, white, and like a really light blue. And it turned out to have some green, purple, uh, they just kind of mixed together, but look how cool that is. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So, um, I really, really liked doing this pour method where you just pour the acrylic over it. I had taped off the top and I guess I didn't get it kind of push down to the very bottom. So I did have to go in and, and clean up, you know, like the top of the bottle. But uh, after it dried, it took a day to dry. And then I put two um, coats of the triple thick um, glaze. And this is how it turned out. I absolutely love it. I even thought about maybe putting some of the butterfly tattoos on it. Um, and see, that's all, it's all flat. Isn't it cool? Oh, I love it so much. So I'm definitely gonna be doing more of these because I like these a lot. It was a lot of fun. So like I said, once I get the epoxy and stuff, I will be doing epoxy on these, on these two that I did. I think it's so cool. So I was, you know, I was telling you guys about this glitter and how I was really wanting like a finer glitter. I remembered that I got this glitter from Walgreens. This wasn't the uh, dollar store one. So I think that's, you know, I think that's just the type of glitter. I think I got like kind of a medium sized glitter because I went to the dollar store and I had to get a few things for working. I'm doing a, a project, uh, Poppy and I are doing a project for Judy and I needed a few things. And so I went over and I looked at the glitter and the glitter from the dollar store is actually a lot finer. So um, let me get a lighter one here. So this is the Walgreens one that I used on that bottle. But then look at the dollar store one. It's definitely more fine. So I think I'm gonna try um, a glitter bottle with the dollar store ones. But they had uh, some really pretty colors. There's like two different kinds of gold. Uh, let's see, there's like a darker gold and a lighter gold. So there's the two golds. And then silver, this is the silver. So look at that compared to what I used. So it's definitely more of a finer glitter. But look at these beautiful colors that they had. It's like a rose kind of color and then this like purple, red purple color. I love this rose color. Hopefully you guys are seeing that okay. So I got two packs of each because these are definitely, as you can tell, a lot smaller than these large ones I got. And it took a whole one of these large ones to do this bottle that I did. So I got two packs of them. So I'm going to attempt to do one of the smaller bottles in the finer glitter but definitely you can see a difference. And then 
one person, the one person that I saw that actually did a glitter bottle on YouTube here, um, used these pouncers uh, to do the Mod Podge instead of brush. And I thought I would try it. So they had the this three pack, it's a large, medium and a small one. So I'm gonna try to do the Mod Podge with these pouncers and see if maybe it makes it a little bit more even. I did have trouble uh, in some spots with it getting thicker and I just with the brush couldn't get it thin enough. So I thought I would try these pouncers that they had. And I was just walking around and look at this cute little wooden uh, baby carriage. Isn't that cute? Look, it's got all open. I thought I would put some cotton in there and uh, what, maybe, I don't know, a little plastic baby or something. Isn't that cute? And the wheels move. I thought that was so cute. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to paint that. Maybe have it, you know, in the nursery or somewhere, probably not here because I'm running out of room. <laughs> uh, I did move my bottle stuff over to this other table that I have um, to give me a little bit more room. And yesterday I got... So what I'm doing for Judy is she has... She is has getting ready she's getting ready to sell her house and she got an apartment which I'll still work for her but she is having Poppy and I do some stuff in her basement so I was going through uh she said you know if you find something ask me and you know I'll probably let you have it so I got this tiny little strainer and I saw a lady that was doing a tumbler and she put glitter in this and then tapped it onto the tumbler she was doing and it made it a lot more even so there wasn't like certain clumps everywhere so I'm gonna try it with this and because it's a smaller one and then she had this tiny little pool noodle and they were taking they were like taking these and like splitting now this is a, a smaller one this isn't a full-size one but they were taking pool noodles and like taking two pieces and tying them together. And then you can put the bottle, you know, or the tumbler on the top and it makes it even, which will be fantastic for uh, my tattoo, the tattoos that I do on the bottles. So I got that. And I got a couple other ideas on some bottles I'm gonna do. I have a really cool idea for my vampire baby for a bottle. And I'm hoping I can pull it off, <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, I've been um, just working on that stuff. I think I'm uh, going to try and at least do a little bit on this baby today and get it started. Um, and then I want to work on my vampire baby a little bit. So I think I'm gonna do, it's really, really chilly outside so I know I won't be able to bake today. But uh, I thought I'd at least do what I can until I have to bake. But yeah, so, uh, and I want to thank Karen so much for uh, doing a big order for some passies and passy clips. I appreciate you so much. And I'm so excited to get started on them. Um, she's having me do um, some pacifiers and some clips for her and yeah, I'm super excited. I'm going to order the stuff today. And if you guys ever want specific Posse clips, just let me know because I can order the ribbon and do them. Like I did this one here. This is a Star Wars one. And it's got, this is like a little silicone, um, it's flat, just like a little silicone piece. And it's got Yoda. And then here's my Star Wars ribbon. And uh, I'm doing some special ones for her. And if you guys, so if you guys ever want a specific something, just let me know. And I can order that from Etsy and make you guys pass fire. A pass fire clip. I don't charge a whole lot for these. So let me know. They pretty much have everything in ribbon. 
uh, as long as I can, these, the ones with the ridges, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but they have like these little ridges. These are the best ones to make pasty clips from. The, the silkier flat ones, I, I find don't look as good as these. So let me know. You can leave me in a comment, uh, leave me uh, in the comments below. Let me know, or you can email me if you have a certain something to, uh, if you want me to make you a pacifier. And usually, usually I can find like these little silicones or I can find my flat back resin pieces uh, to match typically. So, yep, that's my plan, but I had to come on and show you guys this bottle. It's just too cute. I have all this acrylic paint that I need to use. I've had it for a while now. And I, this was so much fun. <laughs> Let me tell you, this, this bottle was so much fun. I'm definitely gonna love doing these. So I don't know, I'm trying to decide if I wanna put butterfly on it, butterflies, or if I just want to leave it the way it is haven't decided yet but I definitely cannot wait until it gets a little bit nicer out and I can start doing epoxy because these are really gonna pop uh, and be super shiny once I mean it's pretty shiny like you can see the glare and that's the triple thick triple thick glaze but when you put the epoxy on they really pop like the color comes out and they're definitely well protected I mean not that this isn't but like triple thick I mean so you figure it's got six coats on here but yeah I had to come on and show you guys let me get a little bit closer oh it's so much fun and I love that it made colors like that I didn't even put on there yeah <laughs> that was fun so anyway um I'm at Judy's again today me and Poppy worked our butts off yesterday it's a it's a pretty big project that we're doing. I think we can probably get it done if we do today and then another day. My mom's surgery is supposed to be tomorrow, or not tomorrow, <laughs> it's supposed to be next week. So if it is for sure, uh, right now she is sick. She's not been feeling well the last couple of days. So not even sure if it's gonna happen, <laughs> hopefully. So, you know, I, I, I just want it done for her. I know she's been a wreck and I've been a wreck. Um, but then I'll have to wait uh, until the following week to go to Judy's. So that's why I'm working two days in a row this week, which is really tough on me. I'm really hurting today. But um, me and Poppy had a good time <laughs> down, uh, down in her basement goofing off and getting stuff done. So uh, anyway... I will try to come on tonight and I hope you guys have a happy Friday. Okay, take care. See you soon.